Rotary wing aircraft and Black Hawk in particular will remain relevant elements of military operations for years to come for countries around the world. Black Hawk is well down its path of modernization right now. We talked to Hamid Salim about it. Bring us up to date on Black Hawk's modernization and how it improves payload, range, survivability, and other aircraft attributes. Yeah, thanks for the question. So a lot of good things have happened. There's an amazing vision that the Army has worked with industry to put together, and it's an outstanding partnership. And the basis of that is on the platform that has over 15 million flight hours, 5 million of which are in combat on a platform that's born for combat. So the Black Hawk does it all, you know, medevac, uh, combat resupply missions, just an amazing capability. Uh, three key pillars that we were looking at to develop in conjunction with our Army partnership. Uh, for payload and range, we we're looking at an engine. We're also looking at modular open system approach mm -hmm. and um, frankly speaking, looking at la launched effects. And we made great strides and progress in all three domains. The engine's making good progress. We expect to fly that soon. But I'd really like to highlight two other pieces of that uh, program where we recently developed uh, capability and demonstrated it. Um, it was um, a plan of the armies to make sure that we could install uh, other capabilities on our platform. So recently in Stratford, the army came up and we were able to install uh, hardware and software from another supplier that traditionally would have taken you know, months and we were able to do it in hours and show that demonstration to the Army and to other industry partners uh, for the digital backbone for our modular open system approach. So that was a big success for us to be able to demonstrate that. And then on launched effects, partnering with the Army to do a real demo to get soldier touch points, get capability and technology out in the hands of soldiers. We were out demonstrating launched effects where we created the capability to uh, manage both the hardware and the software of launched effects so we could command and control them from a Black Hawk. And we think that's a significant uh, step forward in developing technologies that'll support uh, the Black Hawk of the future and ensure that it's better than the Black Hawk of today. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's translate those capabilities and technologies into mission value. So sure. how does autonomy, launch effects, MOSA help warfighters solve their problems? Well. Thanks for the question. It's a really good one. You know, in terms of like autonomy, for example, we're able to leverage, you know, autonomy in ways that will allow the pilot to focus on mission requirements as opposed to piloting the aircraft. And against the backdrop of Indo-PACOM, you know, where they're very austere environmental conditions, the uh, launched effects capability will allow the division commander to have flexibility to reach greater ranges and insert uh, launched effects in areas that can sense more quickly, that can help him see farther, and that can help him address our adversaries much more quickly than we're able to do today at ranges that are much farther out than what the capability exists today. So from that perspective, in addition to modular open system approach where our digital backbone and architecture can uh, allow the division commander and the army to integrate capabilities much more quickly, we think that that'll give the Army a decisive advantage and certainly showcase the aircraft's capability to be relevant in Indo-PACOM theater. Thank you, Hamid. Appreciate you filling us in on Black Hawk modernization. Thank you, sir. So we've heard about how launched effects, MOSA, and autonomy will keep Black Hawk flying effectively for years to come. Thanks for watching.